All right, we're going to yeah. continue on in our series today of skills every mechanic should know. So, Jacob here, otherwise known as Mitts, big hands. We're going to take apart this clutch basket here, and if you can focus in on here. So, guys, what does this have to do with every mechanic should know? To really looking at this first, we see we have multiple fasteners holding on one part. Okay, we happen to know that underneath here, there's springs, right? So if I take one of these all the way off, each one of these is holding spring pressure to hold this on. So would you agree with me that all five of these equal 100% spring pressure? So what is each one of these, do some math for me, worth? Okay, so if this is 20 and I take it all the way out, that leaves what? Okay. All of that, if we did an even pair, we'd leave 80, but if I just take one out, then how much of these, these four have equal pressure against that part, don't they? 25. So they, so they all have to account for that. So now if I take this one out and I get down to three, that means 100% is being held in by three. And if I take another one out, that means that one spring and so on and so on. You get where I'm going with this? And so what's going to happen is quite often... You'll take it out, take it out, take it out, and you'll get to the last one, and it's just going to snap off the clutch boss off the inner basket, and you're going to have a bad day. Even if I was simply just taking off a cover with multiple fasteners, you guys have seen this in other, other videos, every mechanic should know that you need to just do what to the bolts first? Loosen them. What's the phrase I use? I heard it back there. Unkiss it. Okay, so... We're going to kiss it when we install it. We're going to unkiss it. That's just the term we use around here. It seems to work, right? Yeah. So we unkiss it, and then we take a look at the service manual and see if they tell us to take it apart in a specific pattern. This cover right here is probably not something that's done in a pattern, but as a mechanic, we should have the understanding that we may need to question that. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do here is on these five bolts here, I want to take... Now, if I go ahead and just turn this, do you see how it wants to ro keep rotating it? Yep. These apparently probably are not torqued. This fastener is a real small torque application, a 6 by one fastener, so it's only like 6 to 8. What I'd like to do in this case is I'm going to go ahead and I want to unkiss all of these. Do you see what I'm doing? Yep. And I'm going to do this in a star pattern. Are you catching that? Yep. Okay. Now, now that I've unkissed those, I do have the choice. Where's your screw gun? All right, now that I unkissed these, I have two different things I can do here. I could keep doing something like this and go one turn, one turn, and so on and so on, but that could get kind of timely. So once you're used to using tools or whatnot, what I'm simply gonna do is just back it out a bit. And do you see how I get kind of an even amount there? And if I keep doing this, all the way, not one of these springs is ever going to have to hold 100% of that tension. I'll be able to remove it all of the way. We like to keep our parts organized too here. Now see how I'm doing this in multiple steps? It's going to take that pressure off really nice and easy. So do you see how much that spring tension is? And I'm telling you, this is a this is a stiff spring. Can you imagine cutting down to just that one, all of that pressure on there? And then it would just break it off. So every mechanic should know. Now do you notice here how how little tension is on this? There's there's nothing, so it comes off easy. And our whole point of skills every mechanic should know is also how not to break something. Does that make sense? Okay, so for this video, you can see now we could take this part off and we didn't break anything, but you can imagine, boy, if we had all of that tension on that one part, this, this spring boss sits down in here, sits across there, and that would put a ton of stress on this and then it would snap it off and it would break it. Now, I'll tell you, numerous times over the years, I've had students overlook this and this is the one part that probably is, is commonly done here and they end up breaking it off. So, skills every mechanic should know is even pressure, uh, taking something off, what do you think you have to do on assembly? Same thing. 
same thing, even pressure on assembly as well. And it tells in the manual what's like to evenly install those in a star pattern. Hey there, um, I just grabbed one of the first service manuals behind me. Nothing special or in particular because this is so commonly found in multiple manuals. And I thought I'd just read uh, word for word out of this particular one. It was a CBR manual, but once again, it's nothing special. So I just marked off three places in this manual that are specific to what we were talking about. And the first one I have here, if you can see in the video here, is this clutch, the clutch cover. If I can get on here, right? it's kind of hard to do upside down. And we're going to read what it says to take this cover off. So word for word, loosen the bolts in a crisscross pattern in several steps. Really standard. We'll read that all over the place. So once again, just like we talked about in the video, we started here and then went here and here and here and here just crisscross pattern they are not numbering them and telling us one two three four and so on but anyway uh, there's one spot so we'll just keep on moving and, and think about the clutch here we're calling this you know clutch springs before this one says secure the lifter plate by tightening the bolts in a crisscross pattern in several steps once again same thing and then uh lastly i just went to a different section in the manual and looked at uh Split the crankcases apart here, I thought I'd read once again, because we have so many multiple fasteners here and what it says to take those out. Honda, word for word. From the outside to the inside, loosen the bolts in a crisscross pattern in several, in several steps. Same thing. And uh, just, just really trying to stress this. I mean, if you just start ripping stuff apart, we take the chance of warping, uh, engines or cases or covers or we break off tabs or bosses on the parts we're trying to attach to or, or unattach from so uh, keep on wrenching and this is an every mechanic should know uh, suggestion